Alrighty, in a pre in another video that Matt Farns did, I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. Is that he did a test on air locomotive horn air consumption tests, and what he pretty much did is took various horns and he blew it until the pressure gauge went down to roughly around 30 pounds, and then you'll see the pressure jump back up. Well, today I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth of his video but this time I'm going to be doing pressure tests right now I'm gonna charge it up to 200 psi I know that's not what these horns are rated for but I just want to show you guys that 200 pounds does not make your horn louder so what I have is a decibel meter right there I want to make sure you guys can see on on a clear day All right. And I have the horn, and I have the horn exactly 100 feet away. So this is the Nathan Urchimes rating test, and what they rate their horns on is is so is x amount of decibels at 100 feet at 100 psi. So today I'll be doing that. I'll just be starting off at 200 pounds, dropping down every 10 psi, all the way down to I jump. So I get around 60 or 50 pounds. So here we go. Shut the decibel meters on. Yes, it is. And here we go. On at 12.4, that concludes my test of what pressures you should run your K5LA at. Now I'm going to crunch all the numbers out, make a chart, and we'll see what I get from the data I got. <laughs> 